Okay, today we're going to be installing a liner for a hot water tank. So that's where the combustion gases go up this flue. And right now we're just dumping into a, uh, a chimney, a brick chimney. And we're going to be installing a liner um, in, inside that. Okay, we'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So this is the liner, aluminum flex liner kit. It comes with this flexible aluminum duct and a cap and a roof cap and I purchased this at uh, Noble and it's from Don Park. Okay so I've removed the uh, existing piece of uh, rigid aluminum ducting and we'll put that back but first we're going to get that flexible piece of aluminum uh, liner and bring it through that upper opening. I'm going to possibly use that lower opening there to access it. That lower one was for the the big furnace but now the furnace is high efficiency so it goes separate to the side of the house. It no longer is vented through there. The upper one is for the hot water tank. So I will uh, see if I can't get that flexible duct through that upper opening and then connect it up to the uh, other piece of ducting and push it all back in there. We'll see if we can do that now. The piece of uh, the roof cap, we're going to bring that guy down, use that handle to, to pull it through the opening. Once we get it through the opening, we're going to connect it up to this existing piece that slides through the wall. This is what will be sticking out of the wall. And then we'll put back the other piece of piping into that. So we'll see if we can't manage to do that. Now, let's go. Our ladder set up, we're going to go up to the top of the roof there. I'm going to remove the old vent. And we're going to bring down a string on a weight. I'm going to use this plumb bob, tie the plumb bob onto the string and pull that down to the, uh, the lower level and then tie the other end of the string to the flexible aluminum liner so we can pull it down. Okay, so let's do that. So we're just removing this old uh, vent cap using a screwdriver and a pliers just to remove it. So once I get this guy loosened I'll be able to take the, the whole vent cap off and then we can look down and lower that string okay see if we can't remove this guy there we go so we got this off we'll just lay that down here on the roof it's kind of windy today uh, we're gonna have to get a ladder up here and then we'll be able to peer down and lower the rope we're looking down now the chimney here and uh, that's the chimney you can see we're going to lower the string down in there and then you're going to be able to use that string to pull down the liner okay so the rope here tied to a string onto a plumb bob it's pretty heavy so that we'll use that to guide that down there you can use pretty much any kind of a weight but let's get that down there now okay so we're going to lower this guy down slowly You can see it going down. Now it's tied up to the string. Okay. You should be seeing it coming soon. You see it? Okay, so grab it and pull it through. Pull it through. You got it? Pull it right through. Okay, great. So now we got the rope in. We know that we're down to the bottom there with the rope and we're at the right location. I've marked the top here and we can use this rope now to mark the liner. Pulled out the rope and we've laid it out here and we've stretched out our aluminum liner as far as this rope here. So now we know we're at the right length for this liner. Now we can lower this liner down to the bottom at the other end, pull it through and connect the bottom end and then the top should be close to where we need to be and connect it up to the cap, okay? Now we've got the, the rope down there, he's pulled it through the opening and we're ready to start sliding the flexible aluminum liner down the, the chimney. So we'll do that now. So now we're, he's pulling it with the rope 
and I'm guiding it down. And hopefully this liner will get where it's got to go soon. It's almost there. Looks like we're almost there. Okay, I think we're there. Good. Now well, we finally were able to pull this end of the uh, fle aluminum flex liner through here. It was a bit tricky, but uh, we finally got it through here. Now we're going to put the other end on it, uh, screw it on, and push it through and see if, uh, if we can reseal up here and then put it all back together again. Now we've uh, removed the handle from the aluminum flex and I've put back the, uh, the little piece that was already in there in which uh, the rigid duct which is over there is going to come off the top of the tank and go and slide into there so let's just secure this now and tape it and we'll continue. Okay, so now we've connected the uh, rigid from the <coughs> hot water tank uh, outlet and we've reconnected it back to the uh, the liner now and the liner now we just got to go up on the roof and uh, finalize the liner the cap. So what I'm doing here is this is the cap so I had to modify the cap because I didn't want to cut the uh, the ceramic uh, you know uh, extension on on the chimney. So what I did was I marked off the uh, outermost uh, square dimension on the uh, the ceramic chimney square, which was eight and a half. So I marked it eight and a half, and then I cut the ends here, as you can see. I cut the both ends, and then I bent. Bent this side over, bent that side over, and then I'll bend the other sides over, and then lastly I'll bend the short sides over, and then I figure I can screw, I can put one, two screws on uh, on that end, and that'll make it a nice uh, square cap, and then we'll be able to uh, secure that. Just put some silicone around the top, and silicone it on, and uh, that should hold very good. Let's try finish this and see how it looks. So this is getting to be a bit tricky, but the way I figured is I bent over all four sides like this. Then I opened up these sides and I bent this all the way down to get a nice crease on it. And then lifted it back up again. And I'll do the same thing with this side. I'll pull these guys out and then bend this over to get a nice crease. I can't unfortunately do it and show you because I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time. Okay, well we'll try to do this now so you can see me doing it. So. I bent this crease over this way, and now I'm going to pull this guy back, pull this guy back, and see if I can't get in here and give this a good crease here. So when I have these guys bent over, like this, I was able to get this so that I could give it a good crease on there. Start bending it, like that. And then bend it back. And then I was able to bend this guy over so I can get a crease on it. And once I get a good crease on it, like that, I don't have any special duct tools. If I had some duct bending tools, it would be a lot easier, but this seems to work just as good. So. Now that I've got this crease over, I'm going to take this to pull this guy back again and, and try to get these on the inside. So I'll put that on the inside, put that on the inside, same thing here, put this on the inside, put the short piece on the inside. That should give you a nice looking uh, piece in the end. So this is what we should get. We should get a nice square, relatively square box in the end. And if this is giving me some trouble I can cut a little bit off the tops here and I might just do that this way I can get a nice uh, crease in there. Okay, so I'll do that and put this together and uh, we'll see how it goes. That's my finished cap. 
Um, one side I trimmed uh, the back end there, but I don't think that really helped that much. I, I, I'm going to leave the other side the way it is. And just basically, that will flip right over there. And I can pop in one screw down at the bottom probably, and that should be good enough. Maybe two. We'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, that should give me a nice uh, cap and very good and weatherproof. Let's go up there and put it on, see how it goes. You see, it fits nicely right over. I'm able to put that sucker the way I did it. I'm able to just put it right over that. And then I'll put some silicone all around the uh, edge, lay it down, secure it. And then uh, pull this guy up, secure it to the cap, put the cap down, and we're done. We're going all around the bead, all around the edge here. Nice, generous bead. This will allow it to uh, stick good here. And we'll just continue with this all the way around. Now we're going to line this up with this cap over the silicone, get it on nice and good, get it on there. Now I'll pull this guy up, and the next thing is, make sure we get the sleeve on. We have to get the sleeve on. We have to slide this. This is a sleeve, you need to put the sleeve over it first, pull this duct out far enough, slip this over. This is going to be a bit tricky here, especially since... There we go. Kind of just work it in, work it in, and work it in. Okay, I've got it all the way. Just going to pop in some screws once we get our first screw on it. Okay, we'll get one more on this side. One more on the other side. Here. I'm just going to wrap this with a little bit of tape as well at the end, secure it good, so it's good and secured, wrap it in nice, and then gently slip it over, and that's it, that's all it is. There we go, there we have our vent. I'll just pop a couple of screws down in here and that should do it. Okay. There you have it. It's a nice complete cap installed, nice and neat, all sealed. And I put some extra seal around the bottom there. And that's it, we're done. We just got to do the inside, we got to put some uh, cement around that opening that we uh, kind of had to break a bit. Thank you for watching.